one of the most frequent questions that I've been asked in some streams ko is, kung ano yung ginagamit kong streamer, di ba? Um, kung familiar kayo dito, nakikita nyo naman na siguro itong uh, ating stream. Um, ito yung, ma- yung main setup ko, actually. Um, on this side, we will be having the live chats. Makikita nyo po yung chat as you go on. Papasok po dyan. Um, ngayon hindi siya nagdi-display kasi naka-offline tayo but then pag naka-online tayo dyan lumalabas yung mga chats and on this side naman is yung mga super chatters pag may nagpa-super chat or uh, super stickers dyan siya magdi-display now this is what we're going to tackle for today kung uh, paano po lumalabas to yan yung uh, yung scrolling text ito itong nasa baba po natin yan yung pag-uusapan natin yun. so let's go Alright, so ito po nakikita natin ano, itong scrolling text na to, ito yung tatry nating gamitin at gayahin niya yun. So first, we will start off with a blank screen, kagaya nito. By the way, on this section, you have your scenes. Think of it as your presets, ano po. Ito yung mga presets nyo na nakakapag-select kayo or channels that contains certain elements na nandirito naman sa sources. Alright, and on this particular section is the audio mixer in which you can see yung mga uh, audio levels dito nyo rin magagalaw at mahihinaan or may increasean yung mga audio levels na gusto nyo uh, i-manipulate so let's create a new scene let's just say scrolling text alright so obviously pag nag-start kayo ng OBS ganito yung magiging layout nyo it will be blanked off walang laman now again, for this particular tutorial, ang gagawin po natin is to imitate kung ano yung lumalabas doon sa baba natin kanina. Alright, after creating a scene, which is on this case named as a scrolling text, gagawa tayo ng sources. Alright, so balikan muna natin sandali. If you can see, merong gradient effect sa gitna. The, y- yung text slowly fades pagdating banda rito, right? Kasi, tatlong layers po yan. And I will show you what those layers are. Sige. So, back to scrolling text scenes. First layer to be added. Let's add an image. This image needs to be solid, solid at saka po clear. Preferably, high contrast or kalaban ng, ng kulay ng magiging text nyo para sobrang legible yung text sobrang makikita nyo kagad alright let's go now here add an image um, call it uh, base or ticker or base ticker Let's go search for an image, you know. Let's take this ticker base as an example. Kasi po, ito na yung nagawa ko. <coughs> Alright, now there's a trick here, no? Pag, pag gagawa po tayo ng uh, base or image or anything na i-re-render uh, natin sa OBS or ilalagay natin sa OBS, make sure um, na yung canvas nyo and yung image nyo is this exact dimension. Like for example, in this case, ang canvas ko is 1920 by 1080. Therefore, yung uh, image ko po is, ang length niya is 1920 rin. Pero syempre, naglalaro na lang yung height no. Depende sa inyo kung gano'n yung gusto kataas or kababa. But in this case, kinat ko na siya using Photoshop. And by the way, pro tip lang po ano. Hindi man pro tip. <laughs> tip lang po. Uh, always remember na yung assets nyo, mas maganda kakalabasan kung kayo mismo ang gumawa. Paano gagawin yun? Pag-aralan po natin yan. Maybe uh, sa, sa ibang mga araw. Let's go take this example. Ito na po yung ating banner. I will also add a camera here. Um, there's no particular reason at all. Bakit? It's just that, syempre, mas maganda naman yung may nakikita kayong uh, nagsasalita, di ba? Okay, so we now have our base. And this image, if you can see, is exacto from left to right. Kasi po, pag in-expand natin yan, chances are, it will be pixelated. So, at least, either X or Y axis nung canvas nyo, eh, kasukat. Kung gusto yung vertical, yung vertical axis natin, which is 1080. Kung gusto nyo naman ng horizontal, kagaya nito, yung horizontal axis natin, which is uh, 1920. Full HD, ano po? 
All right, going back. So we've already added our base. If you can see, medyo malab na siya, di ba? Yun yung sinasabi ko kanina. Bakit? Kasi po, yung text na, na ginagamit natin, ginagamit ko, is black. Okay? So first layer, base layer. Ito po yung sasalo. Uh, ito po yung sasalo ng mga text. Next layer, of course, is our text. All right? Yun yung next element na i-add natin sa ating sources. So click the plus button. Hanapin po natin yung text. And then, create um, sample ticker. Alright? Nakikita niyo po sa likod, nakapagsulat na siya. However, ano po? However, puti by default or white na by default yung kanyang kulay. So, gagawin natin, papalitan natin siya into black. Bakit? Kasi po, puti yung base natin. Tandaan po natin, kailangan high contrast sila para naman kahit pa paano, very legible dun sa mga nagbabasa. You can mix colors all you want, but I still prefer solid color. You can do drop-down shadows. Ayan, nakita niya po. Pero pag itim, hindi pala po gaano ng effect yung drop-down shadows kasi itim na mismo yung feel ng text niya. So we'll just have to drag it all the way down here. And liitan po natin. Oh, by the way, in order for it to scroll, kailangan edge to edge. Pwede siyang mag-scroll pero very limited. So in this case, dagdagan natin. Gawin na lang natin, sample ticker, sample ticker, sample ticker. <laughs> Why not? Alright. Medyo resize lang natin para gitna. Okay. Next thing to be added is the foreground layer. Ano po? Foreground layer, on this particular case, PNG images po ang ginagamit ko. Bakit? Kasi PNG images can carry transparent layers. Ano po? Um, may tinatawag sila dun eh. Basta, yun. <laughs> so, pwede mo siyang gawing transparent. Ano po? Lalagay natin. And now, I'll show you. Plus image. Now, this is the third layer. Take note. Overlay. Let's go browse for that image. Here we go. See this area? See this particular area? Ito po yung area na gin-ray out ko sa Photoshop. Hindi naman siya grayed out per se. It's just that, kita niyo kung bakit siya todong nag-gray or nag-blend dun sa background nitong OBS. That signifies or indicate na transparent na po yung part na yun. Ano? Transparent na po siya. There we go. Kung makikita niya po, merong slightly fade dito sa dulo and may slight fade naman dito sa dulo. Kaya ka po yung ginagawa para hindi naman sobrang hard stop, no? Yung pagpasok ng, ng, ng text dun sa image, bilang susulpot. Para lang po, medyo soften yung, yung, medyo soft yung dating. Right, next thing to do, here we go. It's the same thing as what I'm using, di ba po? It's the same text, of course, different font and, and such. But you can always customize it depending on your preference. Alright, question now is, bakit hindi siya gumagalaw? Uh, <laughs> Alright, so how do, we how do we make a text scroll? By applying filters. Paano po gagawin yun? Go to the text element on your sources. Alright, and, and, and it's pretty straightforward. Right click, add filters. Okay? Pagka-add nyo po ng filters, click the plus button and choose scroll. Just click OK. Alright, but hindi gumagalaw? Of course, kailangan rin po natin galawin yung sliders. Kung gusto nyo horizontal yung galaw ng text nyo from left to right or vertical which is top to bottom. Diba po? So you'll just have to adjust this one forward. Nasa sa inyo po kung gano'n yung kabilis. And as you can see, from the background itself dito, nagsisimula na po tumakbo yung text natin. So if you want to make it faster, then saga rin po natin. You know, one funny thing though. Sige, lalagay lang po natin sa mid. If you want it to reverse, you can put it this way. Po? But I highly doubt na may gagamit niya. Alright, so let's put it midway. May napansin lang ako. Double P eh. 
<laughs> All right, let me just edit this one. Here we go. Sample ticker, sample ticker, tumble ticker, sample ticker. This is pretty much the same setup that I have. Once again, I just used a different font, different speed, same color, nonetheless, it's just the same. All right, check this out. Babrik tayo dun sa cinco. Ah, ah, see, see. There we go. So this is how you scroll a text in OBS. I hope you guys like it. Sana may natutunan kayo. If you feel like asking more questions, please feel free to do so. You can drop a comment. Mag-comment lang po tayo sa comment section. And sasagutin natin yan as much as possible. Please don't forget to like, comment. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe para naman po updated kayo dun sa mga succeeding videos and tutorials na i-upload natin tungkol sa OBS. Maraming salamat po.